Good morning, it's Wednesday, it's another coffee day. I am having a blast over in the UK. I hope you are having a blast where you are. This is a moth. Yeah, I've recorded this early uh, before I left, so as you are getting it, I'm already in England having a great time with my grandkids. I say that because I know that's gonna happen. Hopefully I'm getting out and um, picking up some great pickups for us on our show. A little bit of coffee and of course some whiskeys because I'll be in the, you know, land of whiskey. So today we have another great coffee because it is a Monday or Wednesday morning. Uh, so if you like what we do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and share the channel. It means a lot to us. And I know I said Monday, but today really is Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. And today we have an Italian coffee. It's called Palmyra and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I left the bag over by the grinder. So here it is. This is uh, called Palmyra Cafe. It's authentic Italian coffee espresso. Now I ground it kind of um, uh, coarse for the press pot, but it's gonna have that espresso flavor. I have learned that even though the words are espresso on there, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to grind it for an espresso or a mocha pot. You can grind it for a drip pot you know, a normal coffee pot, a uh, percolator, uh, a pour over, or even a press pot, okay. So it is a dark roast. It is 100% Arabica. I picked this up at a um, Italian store called Italy, E-A-T-L-Y. It's kind of a, a weird little um, grocery store, Italian grocery store, like posh, posh grocery store, uh, restaurant, bar, uh, coffee shop. It's it's kind of unique. They have them in major cities around uh, the US. I don't think they have them outside of the US, but like Vegas, Los Angeles, Chicago, um, New York. Uh, I think there's one in Seattle. Dallas is where I picked this up. So I'm not sure where you can get this in your area. It is not an Italy brand. It's Palmieri, so you should be able to pick it up somewhere or pick it up uh, online. The cost was a rather expensive. It was $17 for the one pound bag. That's a little bit pushing my limit. I've gone up to $25 for coffee. If it was uh, a very good craft, um, small town, independent uh, roasters, I'll do that. But this is not, this is basically Italian coffee that you probably pick up in any Italian store. So uh, it's a selection of the best Arabica coffees in the world, mixed and roasted in Italy. So it's gonna be um, not from one country, it's gonna be from uh, several countries. I've had this just seeping in here for about five minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and press it and get the beans out. Oh, that's a really beautiful, rich, dark color. And I always forget there's a strainer on this and then I make a mess. Nice, rich, dark, chocolatey brownness. Oh, wow. Smells really good. It's got a strong Always I get earthiness with coffee. That's how I associate little uh, earthy, um, chocolatey stuff. But this has got some fruity notes to it, some fruity floral notes. Very good coffee um, flavoring or uh, aroma. More like a, um, I'm gonna detect some bitterness in here because of the roast level. So it's gonna be more like a morning type of coffee. Almost like there's a little bit of mint in there, like some spearmint, but earthiness, a little nuttiness, and definitely chocolate, but some dried fruitness to it. Um, maybe like some apples. Hmm. Hot smooth it's got some bitterness to it though so it is definitely an espresso roast I would definitely 
uh, consider fine grinding it, putting it in your mocha pot or your espresso machine if you have it. Otherwise, um, it's fine the way it is in a press pot or a percolating drip pot. It's got some really nice chocolatey almondy, that's one I'm picking up, um, almondy notes to it. A little dried fruit, like I say, probably some apples. Yeah, there's something there. Very good. I could use a little bit of creamer in here to mellow it out, but otherwise it's a pretty good grind. This is actually going to go in my grinder. I have an electric grinder that's set to a certain grind level and a certain pot level. So this will be my drip pot coffee. So I'll have to remember that I'll probably want just a little bit of cream. I like a little bit of whole cream in my cup and then the coffee on top. I know some people like to add the cream afterwards and stir. I like it before uh, I do whole cream. Every once in a while, I'll do a flavored cream like a uh, French vanilla or something, but you, normally this is how I drink it black. Oh, very good. Um, it's definitely an espresso dark blend and it's got some caffeine kick to it. Um, not a lot of bitterness, just a hair. So if you've had Palmary, and hopefully I'm saying that, Palmary, Palmary, um, let me know. Leave a comment below. What's your favorite espresso roast? How do you like that espresso roast? Do you like a fine grind for an espresso or do you do coarse in your coffee pot? That always makes a difference. Uh, make sure you check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. We drop videos every day at noon and almost all of it is alcohol related except for Wednesday, of course, is coffee, unless we decide to do a little alcohol in our coffee. Um, but we do uh, vodkas, tequilas, rums, gins, and liqueurs on Mondays. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday are always going to be whiskey or whiskey flavored um, alcohol. Wednesday, of course, coffee. And then Friday is cocktails. And we do have um, a, the occasional coffee cocktail on Friday, an espresso martini or uh, Irish coffees or something. So make sure you check those out. Um, in fact, we do have a cocktail coming up. I don't actually know when, but we'll check it out. Um, so make sure you check those uh, every Friday. And we hope that you have a great Wednesday, a great midweek day, and know that the weekend is coming. Stay cool. I know that you guys are hot uh, out there in the heat, but um, this is a great coffee to wake up to. We'll see you tomorrow for whiskey. Cheers.